let's take a look at these scorpion shells and then we'll do a demo later when it gets dark and see how they perform made by white hot blue and silver on this side blue and silver on that side looks like they're all blue and silver here's the list of effects 1 through 24 These are five inch shells, so a pretty good size. Fiberglass tubes. numbered this is 13 through 18 we'll have to see if the effects match what's on the box when we shoot them later and here is 19 through 24 as soon as it gets dark we'll do a demo on these and we'll see how they actually perform Looks like the label on the fireworks themselves do match the box. So I went through all 24 as I was setting them in my rack. And that one says number two, massive brocade crown. Number two is a massive brocade crown. All the way to 23, which is a brocade silk willow with color dahlia. Brocade silk willow with color dahlia. Try or TI, I'm sorry. Chrysanthemum flower. And chrysanthemum flower. So hopefully they'll match. We'll find out here in a little bit when it gets dark. I've had a few people ask me how I line up my racks, how I set my shells up in here, why I use tape instead of zip ties. So I thought I'd go over that real quick and it kind of explain what I do and the reason why I'm doing it this way. First I use the green tape made by Scotch. Uh, number 2060, it's made for rough surfaces. The adhesive on this tape is really sticky, especially as humid as it is here. The masking tape doesn't hold up very well and you can see here it's actually starting to come off already. And I just put this on a few minutes ago but it doesn't hold up real well. This green tape will stick. It'll stay on there for days without having a problem. The fuse won't pull off. The reason I use tape instead of zip ties when I tie my fuses together on here is I've had trouble in the past where my zip ties were too tight and it made it stop or they weren't quite tight enough and the fuse would bypass it and I'd have a miss every once in a while. I don't like having misfires. I've started using this green tape, uh, another YouTube person on here had that on there they were explaining why they used it I've been using it ever since and it's been working really really well for me I've never had a misfire the way I've got it set up right now um, I line these all up I have 40 second visco fuse on here because I want a slow time in between each one of my shells that way when this shell fires it has time to break see the effects before this one fires that way it has time for that effect to go all the way through before this one will show up next to it. I don't like to have them overlapping, especially for demos, when I'm wanting to show the difference of each shell so you can actually see the differences on them. The other thing I do is I put uh, masking tape on the leader going down in to help keep from getting crossfire. I'll tape these down like this before I finish all these up. And then 
I'll put tin foil over the top of it. Just regular old cheap store brand tin foil. You don't have to buy anything fancy there. Just slap a piece of tin foil over the top. That'll keep all the sparks and everything else dropping back down on this as these are firing because it's going to start on this end and run down through and I'll do all 24 of these scorpion shells for tonight for the demo. That way I can get a good time in between each one of them where we can see all the individual effects. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them if I can. Thank you. Here's the 24 shot rack all finished up. All the fusing is done, the foil's been put on. It's ready to go. Uh, questions on my racks from earlier too. I have a six shot, six shot, and a 12 that I actually just tied together right here. I make these myself. They actually work out really, really well. I order the tubes online, already pre-plugged DR11s. Fit right in there perfect. I can change them out anytime I want to. Uh, I can take them back apart, just pull a few screws out, and then I'll have six, six, or 12. I can do up to 50 or 60 at a time if I want to. Just depends on what we feel like setting up for a show. I also have a few racks that I've made that I've got set on angles where I can change and adjust all the angles on them too that I may show you on one of my next shows. We'll start doing a demo here in a little while on Scorpion and we'll see how these turn out tonight. Scorpion shells 1 through 24 in order. Holy cow, those are huge. I don't know how well the camera showed the size of those brakes, but they were huge. Those were absolutely beautiful. Let me know in the comments what you think down below. <laughs> 